Hey everybody, welcome back to Allie's Voice. I'm Allison Love Beatty. Did you see the news last weekend? Uh oh. The CDC is saying that the flu vaccination for this year, apparently, um, it's not really hitting home effectively. Um, there actually has been, I think they were saying the flu vaccine this year was only focusing on about 44 strains of the influenza virus. But apparently, I guess the flu virus is blogosphere is a lot more effective than ours because word got out. This means there's going to be a rise in diabetes this year. This spring, it looks as though it's really going to trigger the likelihood of people developing diabetes. And lo and behold, a research facility in Maryland issued a press release saying, yep, if you are predisposed to developing diabetes, this is likely going to catalyze um, your chances of developing it. Um, I don't know if they're trying to push another vaccine to try and prevent this from happening. I don't think there is one to prevent diabetes yet. Diamid's still sort of going through their, their human trials right now. But um, case in point, I think that Everyone that does have a likelihood of developing diabetes or anyone in your family that does not have it, um, please encourage them the same way I, I, you know, really try and keep a watchful eye on my sisters. You know, I, I have an older sister and a younger sister and I always, you know, watch out for them. If I think that, you know, sort of like I see habits sort of changing up or I see them drinking more water or something that they don't normally do, I... I try and at least, you know, gently coerce them to maybe think about, you know, just not doing it or really, you know, being careful. And everybody, you know, you mean well when you're warning people and sometimes it just annoys them more, but I don't watch I don't want anybody in my family else to get this. I, I know it's it's terrible when you are already there, you know, autoimmune type one since the age of seven. I've watched my family battle this. I've watched them suffer the same way that I've had some really bad days with diabetes. But, you know, it's also, you know, you you figure a way how to live your life where it totally doesn't affect other people. And uh, I know this, there's a little bit of diabetes in everybody, whether or not you are a fully diagnosed person or not. We all have a lot of... Um, environmental factors and things in our bodies that actually predispose us to developing diabetes and sometimes the choices we make in life actually um, coax them out a little more to the development of diabetes and I want to start saying to people you say diabetes like that's a bad thing don't we all have it on some level I think we kind of do and maybe that's just me trying to associate with the world in, in the grand scheme of things but if we all lived our lives like we were you know, trying to protect ourselves from erratic movements in our blood sugar. Um, that might be, you know, a, a very a different approach to take to diabetes, but almost probably the safest one available, rather than leaning on drugs at first at first elevated blood sugar. So, um, everybody, watch out this spring. Watch out for, you know, any feelings of anything that would lead you to believe that you might be developing diabetes. Increased thirst, um, increased trips to the bathroom, you know, feeling, you know, a bit of lethargy. In the springtime, we should all be invigorated. We should be going out there, moving on with life and our natural life cycles. So, um, if things just start feeling a little weird, really um, think about doing everything you can to remove the um, excess concentrated sugars from your diet. Think about going outside and um, you know, just enjoying the sunlight, the fresh air, anything you can do. Anything you can do to rebalance your body from going on to develop diabetes. But like I said, we all have a little bit of it inside. I'm pretty sure of that. So um, please, watchful eye. Um, everybody, take care. Take care of each other. I'll see you next time.